Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD poster reveal video. Today we are taking a look at the 2022 yearbook poster reveal for Spin Master Monster Jam. And as with every year, this is the first poster of two of a year that always contains half of the trucks revealed and half of them not revealed. So I'm going to do my best to navigate through this poster list with half of them not being revealed to the public yet and most of them being revealed in this video. I do know a few of them that aren't revealed yet, so I'll confirm a few, and a couple others are actually mysteries to me, so as we go through this year, it will be revealed to you and myself at the same time, so it's always fun to have that as well. We're gonna start at the top here. Arena Favorites has a lot of trucks this year, and the first six are all independent trucks. As we know, I've done many different reveals and a few trucks that have already been reviewed in Series 22, the first one being Storm Damage, and the second one being Avenger Fire from Series 23. I will be reviewing that series in late February, early March. And then we have Kraken also returning for this year. I believe we're getting this again just because it was a very popular and neutral casting, but Avenger Fire is definitely the biggest name of the first three arena favorite independent trucks. And Avenger Fire is definitely looking really awesome. The next three of the six are more Team Scream trucks plus one more, which will be Avenger. I believe this is the split paint job from World Final 6. I might be wrong on the actual World Finals event number, but I believe it is split paint job Avenger judging by the master list I was provided earlier in 2021. So split paint job, Avenger, green and orange, finally making its first die cast appearance in Spin Master Monstrum and in any die cast line this year. And another huge Team Scream announcement, it is Rage making its first debut in the Spin Master Monstrum line, specifically a Monstrum line. And the reason I'm highlighting that is because it is a Monstruck throwdown created design. So this is very interesting. They actually got the throwdown logo on the hood there. And I'm very curious to see how they're gonna navigate that with the actual production. But Rage is confirmed on the S10 body that they used Avenger on previously in 2019. So it's very exciting to see that body getting a redo with Rage's paint scheme on there. It is not the most recent square body edition, but it is a Rage nonetheless, and I'm more than happy to have any form of Rage in the Moss Jam Spin Master line. So that is really awesome. Corey Romo's confirmation did come true, and Rage is joining the Moss Jam lineup. And the last truck of the first six arena favorites is Big Kahuna. It is listed as a C10 on the master list. I have no idea if it is the Texas strong body or the normal C10 Kahuna returning, but we will see what happens in the later part of the year when the poster is fully revealed. So Big Kahuna is back yet again. And then the secondary list of arena favorites, another independent, which is Jurassic Attack in the purple form. In real life, this is a ride truck, but purple Jurassic Attack has made appearances in Hot Wheels Monster Jam and is now returning to Spin Master Monster Jam with the classic Jurassic Attack tooling. This year, it looks like they cannot fit the new tool Raptor body into the budget, but I am definitely happy to have a new Jurassic Attack paint scheme color in the singles packs no matter what. So purple Jurassic Attack making another appearance in the diecast line, this time under Spin Master. And then we have the first Monster Moan truck. It is Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with a purple roll cage and gray rims. I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping that we would eventually see a purple beadlocks black rim Mohawk Warrior, but we have not seen that yet. This year, we're just receiving another standardized Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with a purple roll cage instead of the black roll cage. And then a surprise independent that I was not expecting. When I originally saw the master list, this was actually a pending approval truck. It is Excalibur. And I believe this will be the Tom Fullery Motorsports owned edition of Excalibur. Uh, so it might be a new tool that we haven't seen before. It might just be a square body. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet, but Excalibur is joining the lineup here in the arena favorites. And then of course, Bad Company, a truck that I hinted towards and already have from series 24, is making an appearance in the diecast line for the first time ever in diecast form in 2022. Another great independent to have, and I'm just super happy to have one finally produced by Speedmaster Moss Jam. And Wolf's Head will be the silver paint scheme that debuted last year in 2021. Very exciting to see that happening because this is our third year in a row that we are receiving Wolf's Head in the singles packs. And then of course, Lumberjack from Series 22, a huge independent announcement from the Bottom Feeder Motorsports. It was already revealed in my Series 22 review video and should be hitting stores fairly soon. And then capping off Arena Favorites is another Monster Moan truck, of course, that being Earthshaker. And that will be in, I believe, Series 23 or 24. I can't remember which one that is, but it will be part of Arena Favorites. And then Legacy Trucks have a little bit of an underwhelming moment, but it is still cool to see a couple of these trucks in the lineup. The first one is Blackout Torloco without the flame corrections. I have mentioned this in Series 22. 
Then we have Blue Thunder. It appears that it will have the classic Monster Jam powder coated silver chassis. It is really cool to see it with the accurate original paint scheme style right there from when it debuted with the new paint scheme from the original built for tough Blue Thunder. So this is the modernized but original paint scheme for Blue Thunder's chassis. And it will have BKT tires according to the actual poster. And then this Gravedigger is a mystery. I believe it is going to be 40th anniversary Gravedigger, but there's also going to be a 40th anniversary Gravedigger Superstore truck that you'll be seeing on my channel. I am not sure 100% what this will be just yet. So hopefully if they don't do it as a 40th anniversary singles release, they'll do the purple Cole Renard Gravedigger from World Final 17, but we will see in the future. For now, it remains a mystery. And then we have Earthshaker with a gray roll cage and yellow chassis and yellow rims, a very underwhelming release. I'm not too excited for that one. But moving right on, we have a new release of a Son of a Digger with a candy purple paint scheme. It looks really cool and it is part of Series 24. And then Soldier Forge and Black Ops also returning to the scene in Legacy Trucks with its classic look, nothing too crazy about it. And Dragon also making an appearance in Legacy Trucks later this year. I'm not sure what they're going to change about that, but there is Dragon making another appearance in the toy line. And for the Chase Piece series this year, it is True Heavy Metal. The first one I've already revealed, which is Son of a Digger, part of Series 22. Then we have Max D. I'm not sure if they're going to do a front engine metal chassis or if they're going to use the rear engine metal chassis. It is more than likely that they will do the rear engine just because of the fact that they have not done a clear body Max D. So they have not done the casting work for that and will require a new casting for both a plastic body and of course a metal chassis. So I believe they'll probably say that for another future year and it's likely that we're gonna see a CRD Max D, but I'm okay with that because Max D has not yet received a chase piece release from Spin Master Monster Jam until now. So Max D, then we have Dragon with orange headers and orange shocks. We have Megalodon, El Toro Loco on the team screen, Brad Allen chassis and Grave Digger. Now, if you haven't noticed, this poster is very out of order. I'm not sure why they did it out of order this year, but they have done it out of order. El Toro Loco will be Series 23's chase piece, and Gravedigger will be Series 24, and Dragon, therefore, is Series 25. And then we have the see-through crew, which started with Max D this year, and will continue in with Oxinator in Series 23, and Gravedigger in Series 24. Then Bakugan Dragonoid will continue the series into Series 25, or future series. I believe, though, it will be Series 25. And then the last new see-through truck will be El Toro Loco. Retro Rebels this year are very underwhelming as well. Two Gravedigger releases from the Retro 5 pack. One of them, however, is important. It was the Gravedigger grain truck with the updated graphics. But the second one is Gravedigger Red Primer, getting another singles Retro Rebel release as we saw in 2020. It is coming back again, but it is a Gravedigger anniversary year, so we did expect to see more Gravediggers than usual. However, it is disappointing to see them do this truck rather than other retros, such as 20th anniversary Gravedigger or other bodies they could have done. And then the biggest Retro Rebel of the year will be Monster Mutt, which is the Mercury body style. The original Monster Mutt is making a Spin Master Monster Jam debut. I am more than thrilled to see that because there are three other Monster Mutts they could do. Of course, my favorite one being Junkyard Dog, and then of course, Classic Dalmatian and Classic Rottweiler. And moving on to World Finals, a series that is coming back for this year. We have Skeleton Zombie, but it is a little different than the original one from the Encore. It is not a new casting. It is actually using the original idea that they had for the Zombie versus Hunters. This is the reason why a normal zombie appeared. It was actually gonna be Skeleton Zombie with the normal casting, and they're actually using the same exact artwork from the Zombie vs. Hunters edition for this release. So hopefully in the future, at some point, we will see an accurate skeleton zombie with the arm cut in half and the face actually molded in with the skull shape and the actual graphics of the Encore Edition. But for now, we have a makeshift skeleton zombie for this year's release. And then we have Gravedigger Legend from the Gravedigger 35th Anniversary Encore. This, of course, is not actually the accurate edition of this truck. The real life truck was just Gravedigger, the original grain truck. And it appears that they actually noticed that when they did the logo for the poster because Gravedigger does not say Gravedigger the Legend. And that's how the actual truck should have been produced. But the actual sample does have the legend on the side, which makes it inaccurate. However, the chassis is still super awesome because it can be used for many Gravedigger swaps. And then moving right along, we have another Gravedigger in the lineup for the World Final Series which will be, judging by my master list, the 25th anniversary chrome Gravedigger body, which means it will be a metal chassis and plastic chrome wrapped body. I am so hyped up to see how they did the graphics for this truck. There are a lot of things that Hot Wheels didn't do correctly and seeing this truck return, not only in chrome form, but hopefully in a better graphics format is going to be maybe one of my top trucks of the year, if not my top truck of the year. So Gravedigger 25th anniversary chrome is returning for the World Final Series. And then the second zombie in the series has to be either the standard yellow zombie with the arm in the mouth from the post encore renders or the female zombie, the original one from the encore itself. 
So we'll see which zombie that turns out to be. It should be a new casting. Hopefully it is for this World Final Series. And then Crazy Creatures is also returning this year, starting off with Dragon and Pirate's Curse, and then we will have a new concept truck called Nightmare. I have no idea what that truck's actually gonna look like yet, so we're all in suspense, just like I am. And then Horsepower is returning to the Crazy Creatures line as well. And moving right along, we have a couple single series. We have Heroes and Villains trucks returning this year with one villain with normal tires for the first time. It is Joker, and Joker looks really good with that chassis setup and normal black tires. And of course, last year we had all heroes, so this time we have only one villain. And then Nitro Neon's also making a return with Mystery Machine, and it is a very well-balanced truck. All the colors match the truck perfectly, and Nitro Neon is only getting one truck this year, which I totally agree with. And then of course, Hyper Fueled debuted this year with Grave Digger, the super green paint scheme of Grave Digger, and we'll continue on with the El Toro Loco in Nitro Orange, Megalodon in Nitro Blue, Alien Invasion in some sort of format, I have no idea what it'll look like yet, and then Son of Digger, which I'm assuming is going to be super purple. And that will conclude the Hyper Fueled series of this year. Then Rough Crowd has two Monster Mutts. It has Monster Mutt Standard and a Monster Mutt that I believe is Dalmatian. I think they just messed up the logo, but there is going to be another Monster Mutt, either that or it's going to either be Junkyard Dog or Rottweiler. I have no idea what it will be just yet, though. And maybe, just maybe, they snuck in a brand new Monster Mutt like we had with Poodle and Husky, but we are all in suspense. I have no idea what that will be until the full poster reveal. Boneyard Trucks will continue, surprisingly. I thought they would put the World Final Zombies in there with just Megalodon this year, so it will be a skeletonized Megalodon in some sort of way. I'm not sure what it'll look like yet. They have kept that truck a mystery for now. And then I'm gonna skip ahead just to one last truck before we get into the biggest reveal of the entire year for myself, I have to say which is the Max Contrast Megalodon. Only one Max Contrast truck in the singles packs this year, and it was in Series 22, so you can check out my review for a full detailed review of that truck. And then finally, the biggest announcement of the year. This is by far the biggest breaking news. I can't even believe that I'm actually saying this. Boogie Van, a classic name from the earliest Monster Jam events, is returning into diecast form for the first time ever in its history under the Danger Diva series, which will be returning for this year just for this truck alone. Boogie Van is here. And I don't know if it's a new casting yet. I would assume, judging by the fact that there's only three or four new castings in this lineup this year, that it will be the accurate casting. But nonetheless, even if they put on the Mystery Machine tooling, Boogie Van is making an appearance and debuting after over 30 years, I believe, or almost 30 years of never being produced. Boogie Van is coming to Spin Master Mons Jam for this year's release. So that will conclude this year's 2022 singles poster. A little underwhelming in many places, but extremely strong with the independents. There are 11 independents and nine of them appear to be new trucks. And Boogie Van is the capstone of the independent pyramid this year. I am just so incredibly hyped to see Boogie Van. I'm also really hyped up to see, of course, 25th anniversary Chrome Gravedigger, hopefully female zombie, what the split paint job Avenger will look like, Excalibur, Silver Wolf's head, and of course, that classic Mercury Mutt body style for Monster Mutt Retro Rebel. But for now, that will be the standard yearbook poster reveal for this year. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the comments, tell me what you guys are most hyped up for. And hopefully the doubles packs will also have some pretty cool reveals that we have yet to see up to this point. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Ryan or Monster Mo CD, signing out.